Great, so we know here that we can transform an object just by clicking on it and clicking twice to rotate. So that's nice and easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete some of these things. And you can delete things by clicking on them once like that and hitting delete. Uh, if you want to delete multiple things, you can click and drag across all of them like that. And you can hit delete. So we get back to a blank page um, so that you can put things in. All right, so I'm just going to recap a wee bit. I'm going to go back to my basic uh, rectangle tool and I'm going to click and drag and that's just going to give me rectangles and if I click and hold control it gives me perfect squares. Okay, that same thing goes for um, any of these other shapes like for example a circle. If I click and hold down nothing then I get sort of oval sort of shapes like that but if I click and hold down control, it's going to give me good circles. That's as long as you're sort of going diagonally like that. So really it's just a matter of having a wee go with these things. And likewise, if I get stars, I can click the star and click and drag. If I hold control, it doesn't really make much difference because it's a star. Okay, so once I do that, I can let that go and we're good to go. Once you've finished making the shape, you then get off the tool and go back to your default tool, which is the select tool and then you can select each of these individual objects and rotate them, move them, scale them, or do whatever you want with them. But what I'm going to do is just quickly show how you can very, very quickly uh, change a color of a shape. That's any shape. So if I click on one of these, down here, we've got the fill, and I can just click orange, and we get an orange one. If I click that one, I can scroll along here with that little scroll wheel, click on that one, get a nice yellow one. Click on that one, go for a sort of greeny colour, and as you can see, very, very simple to get going with changing colours. You've got your basic colours up there, so I'm just going to go through here and make a couple of colours on there like that. So this is doing it in the very basic form, and very shortly I'll show you a better way of doing this. That gives you a lot more control, but for now just have a go, just make a couple of shapes and change the colours. Really, really simple. Okay, there we go. We've got all these different colors. And in the next tutorial, I'll leave these shapes on there and we'll look at how we can do them a little bit more accurately.